hi guys welcome to my channel decongestant nasal drops are very common in relieving nasal obstruction feeling what are these drugs how do they work are they really safe what are the precautions during using nasal drop and how to administer nasal drop properly these are we're going to talk about today Two groups of drugs are used as nasal decongestant drops. These are catecholamine groups and imidazoline groups. From catecholamine, phenylephrine is commonly used. And from imidazoline group, oxymetazoline and xylometazoline are used. These drugs are alpha adrenergic drugs and they are sympathomimetic. They cause vasoconstriction and thus reduce the blood flow to the nasal mucosa. So there is less blood in the venous sinusoids of the nasal mucosa and thus the congestion and edema are relieved. Now how to administer these drugs? These drugs should be administered through the nostril in one of the two positions. Number one is called migrant position in which the patient lies at the bed and his head hangs from the end of the bed. And the number two position is called Moffitt's position. In this position, the patient kneels down and touches his forehead at the floor like this. Self-medication of this drug is widespread throughout the world. But if the nasal deconsistent drops are used for a long period, then a condition arises which is called rhinitis medicamentosa. In rhinitis medicamentosa, when the patient uses nasal drops or nasal deconsistent drops for a long period, then there is progressively shorter duration of action of the nasal deconsistent. There is rebound nasal congestion after cessation of administration of drops. At one stage, the patient may not get any benefit from using the drops. And the patient gets dependent on this drop to get relief from nasal obstruction. So to stay away from development of rebound congestion and rhinitis medicamentosa, decongestant nasal drops should not be used for more than 7 to 10 days. Self-medication of these drops is strictly discouraged. These drops can be used in patients whose nasal obstruction hampers the administration of a steroid spray. It can be used by physician before nasal procedure for improved visualization of the intranasal structures. And during severe rhinitic exacerbation, when the sleep is hampered, then it can be administered to facilitate sleep. So in the end, to concise, nasal decongestant drops are commonly used as oxymetazoline or xylometazoline drops. These are alpha adrenergic sympathomimetic drugs which causes vasoconstriction and thus reduces congestion. But prolonged use of this drug more than 7 to 10 days can cause a condition which is called rhinitis medicamentosa in which the patient gets dependent on this drop and he feels nasal congestion after cessation of administration of the drop. There are two positions for administration of the drops. One is migraine position and another is Moffitt's position, which I have shown in the discussion. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.